welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we would be simulating a monostable multi vibrator circuit using tinkercad simulation tool for more such videos i request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below now on a browser open www.tinkercad.com and uh, we have to log in uh, either using our gmail so sign in uh, using uh, any particular account and then click on new and click on circuit now this particular uh, simulation page appears where we can design our circuit so select a breadboard and place a breadboard on the uh, design window now search for 741 which is a op amp or operational amplifier and place this particular operational amplifier on the schematic or the design area now select the 9 volt battery and place this particular 9 volt battery connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the rail and the negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the rail so also the positive terminal of the breadboard is connected to the other positive terminal of the breadboard and the negative terminal of the breadboard to the negative end now connect the pin number 7 of uh, operational amplifier to the positive terminal of the battery or to the positive rail of the breadboard and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the pin number 4 of the operation operational amplifier now we have to place a capacitor and the resistor so click on capacitor and place this on the breadboard and define the value of capacitor as 0 0.01 microfarad next we have to place the resistor so click on resistor and in order to rotate the resistor use the r button on the keyboard and place this particular particular resistor on the schematic window next define the value of resistor as 22k resistance and now connect the terminal 2 of the capacitor to the terminal 1 of the resistor and the terminal or the pin number 2 of operational amplifier is connected to the terminal 2 and the terminal 1 of the resistor now we require a potentiometer for this particular circuit so click on the potentiometer in order to rotate use the r button on the keyboard and place this particular potentiometer on the breadboard define the value of potentiometer as 50 kilo ohm and uh, make the changes so define this as 50 kilo ohm and connect the terminal and the wiper of the potentiometer so the terminal one is connected to the pin number three of the operational amplifier and the wiper is also connected to the pin number three and the terminal two of the resistor is connected to the terminal two of resistor r1 now the terminal 2 is connected to the negative end of the battery or the breadboard rail next we have to place a capacitor and a resistor so click on capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the breadboard 
define the value of the capacitance as 1 microfarad and click on resistor in order to rotate use the R button on the keyboard and place this particular resistor near the potentiometer. Now define the value of resistance as 10 kilo ohm and the terminal 1 of the second resistor is connected to the pin number 4 of the operational amplifier and the terminal 2 of the resistor is connected to the terminal 2 of the capacitor. Also the terminal 2 of the capacitor is connected to the terminal 1 of the potentiometer. So make the connections accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Now the terminal 1 of capacitor C2 is connected to the output pin of the operational amplifier 741 that is pin number 6 as shown in this particular tutorial. Next for the input we have to place a function generator. So in this particular function generator we would define the frequency as 1 kilohertz amplitude as 1 volt and DC offset at as 2.50 volt and define the function as sine. So we can define sine or we can define the square. Uh, let us do both. So now connect the positive of the function generator to the terminal 1 of capacitor and the negative terminal of the function generator to the negative rail of the breadboard which is connected to the power supply. Also we have to determine the waveform. So we have to place the oscilloscope for this particular example. So place this particular oscilloscope on the design window. Define the time per division. So click on this particular oscilloscope. So the positive terminal of the oscilloscope uh, must be connected to the uh, pin number 6 of the operational amplifier and the negative terminal of the oscilloscope is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now let us run this particular simulation and uh, on the oscilloscope we can see the uh, the waveform which has been generated uh, or which is the output of the uh, monostable multivibrator circuit. We can change the value of the capacitor accordingly uh, and also the uh, resistor accordingly in order to uh, uh, get the waveform. Uh, so which can be uh, the divide by one output when the uh, C2 value is 0 0.01 microfarad and R2 val a value is 25 kilo ohm or divide by two output where C2 value is 0 0.01 microfarad and R2 value is 18.2 uh, uh, kilo ohm. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.